Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to optimize your Ethernet adapter for gaming and getting those lowest pings and the lowest packet loss for your games. So without further ado, let's get right to it. The first step, you need to right click your start menu and go to network connections. Click on change adapter options, might be slightly different depending on your OS and the version. And find your LAN adapter, usually that shows an icon like this, Wi-Fi is shown like this. Mine is a Realtek one, I right click, properties, and then click on configure. Once you do that, go to advanced tab and just copy all of the settings that I show here. So advanced AAA to disabled, offload disabled. Auto disabled, gigabit disabled, energy efficient ethernet disabled, flow control disabled, gigabit light also disabled, green ethernet disabled. All of this are power saying options. So I'm just gonna scroll quickly, interrupt moderation. Basically you're turning off everything that you don't need. Jumbo frame disabled, large offload disabled. Uh, this, I'll leave it to the maximum available. So we got four. Network address can have, can be the default. NSF load well, should be disabled. Power saving disabled. Priority and VLAN also disabled. Receive buffers, these are the maximum supported by my card. Depending on yours, this might, value might be able to be set higher than what it is. Receive site scaling disabled. Wake online is an optional feature. Um, I have it enabled because I use it. You can disable it if you don't. Speed and duplex, gigabit, all of this disabled, offloads, all sorts of offloads has to be disabled. Transmit buffers, 128. What this does is reduce the load on your CPU and the card handles by itself. Again, this is disabled, wake on magic packet enabled. This is also needed for wake on LAN. You can disable it if you don't use that feature. Wake on pattern match, disable. Wake online shutdown link speed, not speed down. And that's all on this tab. And I'll go to power management. And this is normally checked by default. So double check this and make sure you uncheck this option and press OK. Once you do that, your adapter will disable and enable itself and you'll have good solid Ethernet connection for gaming. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks again for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and check out my other videos up here and I'll see you guys in the next one.